Hey everyone, Todd with Sutton Group here. Today I'm gonna to talk about renting versus buying a home in the 905. I'm gonna break down what residents can expect to pay for different styles of homes and what might be the best avenue for you. Here's what you need to know about renting versus buying and what financial obligations are go along with each. Now please keep in mind this video is for people who are already permanent residents or citizens. Now for those of you that are not, the information is the same but in addition to any cost associated with buying a home, you'll need to pay an additional 15% foreign investors tax. Now I get this question often, Todd, should I buy or should I rent? Due to the high demand of the first time buyer segment of our market, rents have reached an all time high. For instance, two bedroom condos are renting for about $2,100 a month. Three bedroom townhomes, rent for about $2,200 a month. Now, as we move into the detached market, you'll see you can rent a decent sized home for about $2,300 a month. Now, keep in mind, based on size, the age, the features of the rental property, you can pay as much as $3,000, $4,000 for a detached home. But $2,300 is kind of get you into that uh, 1,500 square foot detached three bedroom property. Now, despite the inflated pricing of rentals, there are some pluses to renting a property. First of all, renting is generally stress-free. The landlord has to take care of all repairs, any issues, any problems. Sometimes it's a management company, but it's not your problem. As a renter, your property is cheaper to insure. Uh, you also have the freedom to move when your lease is up. It's a lot easier to move from a rental property than it is if you own a property. The downside of renting is that the money you spend every month goes into somebody else's pocket and not into your own. Now, buying a home in the new market area, the first concern most people have about is the down payment. You need 5% down on any home purchase in Canada. In addition to the down payment, you're also gonna be required to pay what's called mortgage insurance or loan insurance. And what that means is the lender has that protection there and what it is, is if you have a down payment that's less than 20%, there's a 4% charge, which is this mortgage insurance, which is in addition, addition to. This is, is calculated by the size of your down payment and the size of your mortgage. Now here's an example of what you can expect to pay with a home purchase, and then we're gonna compare that with the rental rates. Here's a house purchase example. If you were to buy, say, a townhome in Newmarket for $650,000, you would have a 5% down payment, which would be $32,500. That would give you a mortgage of $617,500. When you add in the loan insurance or the mortgage insurance to that, which is going to be 4%, that's an additional $24,700, which will give you $642,200 as the mortgage amount. Now, over the course of that 25 year mortgage, you're gonna end up paying $913,600. And your monthly mortgage payment is gonna be $3,039. So if you bought this particular townhome, you'd be paying an additional $840 a month to own the property in addition to the upfront down payment and cost associated with buying the home. So this is the major pro to owning a home. When you do decide to sell that home, assuming the market continues to grow, when you sell the property, you not only get the equity from the home, but you also get to keep the capital gains on the property. So it is not only a home, it is an investment. When you rent, you're paying off someone else's mortgage and helping them earn money on their investment. Now, there are some cons to owning a home versus renting. You're responsible for all the maintenance of the property, so shoveling snow, taking care of the lawn, uh, assuming you're not living in a condo. Um, insurance is also more expensive than if you're renting, but it is still affordable. Major repairs like roof, windows, any renovations and improvements, those are all gonna be in the owner's responsibility. The decision is yours to make, but I've always been an advocate of owning your own home. Mostly because when it does come time to retire, I want that money back into my own pocket. 
Thanks a lot for watching. Please subscribe for more real estate videos. If you know someone who would appreciate this video or information, please share it. Otherwise, shoot me an email or give me a call with any questions or comments you have. Happy house hunting. Thanks. And what you might... Yeah! Now, you can go... Sorry, I started... That was an awkward smile at the end. So, if you... 